Hey, hey, awesomes. It's your girl, Karee, on AWE Radio, where we are unapologetically empowered and always on with information and inspiration for your transformation. Welcome to another episode of Her Woman Evolves. Guys, look, I am so excited for you guys to meet my guest today. She is awesome. First of all, her name is Nancy Stoic Campbell, and she hails all the way from South Africa. I cannot wait for you to hear her story. Now, I'm going to tell you that she is a transformational life coach, but I'm going to let you hear her tell what that is and wait until you hear her stories, guys. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in. Good morning or evening, as it were, for you. Afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. Afternoon. Right. afternoon. Well, thank you for taking time from all the way from South Africa. What's the weather like there? It's quite warm. It's quite warm. We're still having a, a good summer, even though we're supposed to be moving into autumn. And I cannot wait for that because that's always the best time of the year. It's not oh. too cold, you know, it's, it's, it's just nice and lucky. Oh, well, look, I am so glad that you have come to share on this platform. I just love it. So you are, as you say, a transformational coach. What does that mean? Yes, you know, it's weird. We, as coaches, there's, there's so many names flying around lately. Um, and, and even for myself sometimes to, to really capture and, and say what it is. Um, until I've, I've actually redone my branding, oh, I can't even remember, it was last year, mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with butterflies, I do love butterflies, and oh. you will see my branding is actually a, a butterfly, um, and, and butterflies really, it's all about transformation, that's really what they stand for, and, and, and when I saw the butterfly and everything just, just came together so nicely for me, but also to, to think what, what is transformation and what is this transformation that, that you can do. And I say, if you can remove all the self-imposed nooses that you have put around your neck right now, right now, what will your tomorrow look like? And what will every tomorrow after that? That is so, wait, I got to make, I want you to say that again. That is so powerful. I mean, it gives me a visual of transformation. Please, for our listening audience, just give us that again. I say, what will you do if you can remove the self-imposed, and this is critical because we mm. have moves that you've put around your neck. You've done it yourself, but you don't know it. And you don't have one around your neck. Oh, my Lord, there's a lot of them around your neck. If wow. you can remove those self-imposed nooses right now, if you could take them off right now, what will your tomorrow look like? That's amazing. And what will all your tomorrows look like? And for me, this is what transformation coaching does. And to understand, um, and, and we live in such a world, people want everything right now. Mm -hmm. People do not want to work for something. They want to mm -hmm. go on Facebook. They want to click like on your post. And now I'm fixed. And it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. okay? so mm -hmm. Nothing happens right now. It is a guided process where you learn how to move, to grow, and to develop. So basically, in essence, what I'm saying is transformational coaching is to learn how to remove the news from your own neck. The one that you've put there, you will learn how to remove it. I can only guide a person, but you know what? You are the only person that can put the news around your neck. Mm -hmm. You're also the only person that can remove it. Because mm. it's linked to your belief system, and, and, and I don't want to go into all sure. this, that, but you put it on, and only you can take it off. As a wow. coach, I can guide you to do that. That is the, oh my God, that is the most beautiful thing. This is why, awesomes, I love doing this series because from wherever you are, we're all on that same journey. And Nancy, we are kindred sisters because what I say is 
You know, you don't have to step into a box. You're the one that steps in there. And guess what? The lid is not locked. You can push it open. And that is what you were saying. Like you can remove the, like you say, self-imposed limitations to live a life that you want to do on your own terms. I love that. That is amazing. Now, listen, you got to tell me this, getting to this, you didn't wake up this way. How did you get here? What is your story? Well, I can tell you what is my story. And, and I can take a few uh, a few steps back. I'm, I'm all of, well, nearly, yes, it's Monday. Monday, I will be all of 54 years old. Um, well, happy pre-birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. So even with my my clients, um, when you, you you need to explain concepts and then you need an example. And I always use my life because I always say I'm all of 53, 54 years old and my life is full of examples. I didn't just one day fall out of the air and sat here talking to you and oh, now I'm a coach. That's right. So what, I, what I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to read this to you. Okay. Is, and this is on my Facebook page as well, because everyone put down on their Facebook page about themselves, and, and then they have all these things that they've studied and everything, and I put down what is my story. And the reason why I've done that is also to understand, yes, I studied to be a coach, but I also come with life's lessons, you know. Mm. I, I also come from a place where I did all of this, and, and I'm not perfect. But I can help you. So let me read you my story. Please, please. And before you read it, and before you read it, I just want to say for those who are just tuning in, this is, we're talking to Nancy Stoic Campbell. That's a part of the Her Woman Evolve story. Listen, we'll play this and replay. You do not want to miss this. This is amazing. All right, Nancy, tell us your story. Good. Here goes. As a child and adolescent, I hated having my picture taken. As an adult, I have learned that this sprouted from my very early belief that I am not pretty and therefore I am not good enough. This debilitating belief ruled my behavior and influenced my every action and the course of the best part of my life. If I did not carry that belief, my adolescent life would have been far less painful. If I did not carry that belief, I would have entered adult life with a sense of self-worth and not one of absolute inadequacy. If I did not carry that belief, I would have made different choices, had different experiences and different results in life. I believe that I'm not good enough and therefore became not good enough. Mm. I know today that our beliefs rule our life. As long as we have these limiting beliefs, we will live limiting lives. Mm. Because what we believe, we manifest. Since I can remember, my childhood pictures have been a testament of not being pretty enough. That's not good enough. This once agonizing picture showed me the absolute power of beliefs and beliefs that only us create. Today, I use those pictures in celebration of who I am. It is me, all of me. I am enough. I even signed this. Oh, that, that is your woman, Evolves. I am enough. Oh my goodness, I have chills all over my arms. That is so powerful. And that's what transformation is about, right? Because we get in our own heads. We say we're not good enough, whether we're in the corporate arena, whether we're in nonprofit, wherever we are, whether we're in the community, we are always battling ourselves and other people's perceptions of what they think we should be. And I love that. I am good enough and I can manifest for myself, what it is that I believe. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. I love what you say, we're always battling ourselves because that really is, and, and, and then it comes back to these beliefs, those nooses. It is, it's just the stuff that we make with our brain. Mm -hmm. And I always tell my clients, but 
you know, the, the bad news is you made it with your brain. But you know what? The good news is you made it with your brain. So you just need your brain to change it again, to actually question it and look at it. But we simply don't do that. And again, that's part of the transformation to go and question these beliefs that really hold you back so much and suddenly it's the same thing that sets you free i mean if, if you can see the step that i took out when when i just launched my business my branding it, it was a it, suffice of a little girl me i used my face oh that's powerful i used my face those photos that were so bad Everywhere, if you would go back on my Facebook page and you will see all these little girl pictures. Um, I just even posted one the other day. Um, you die for nothing. You do not live for something. And there's a little girl there. It's me. It's wow. Me. Something that used to be so bad, be now so powerful. Look, I got to ask you, where can we find you on Facebook? We have to go see some of this stuff. We have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, it's it's quite easy. You just do your little at sign and Nancy Transformation Coach. Nancy Transformation Coach. Okay. I want to see these pictures. I love that you use your, your own pictures. My own pictures. I got stuck there for a second, but I love yeah. that you, I love that you use your own pictures and I love that you use a picture of yourself as a kid, mm. because how better to transform than when you were a little kid to a full yes, grown woman. To, to a, 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 yeah, a full grown woman. And, and to give you a little bit of story about this whole picture thing, my, my father is an oh, avid photographer. And as we grew up, he used to take photos of us and, and he's from Germany. So everything is in order like this. And we still, I mean, still very old school. So we grew up with this whole projector thing. And every Christmas, the projector will come up. And all <laughs> these photos will come out. And you know, by the time you are 16 years old, you know the sequence. <laughs> the things. And you know, every year that was the thing in our house. I really, I cried on every photo of a child I hate wow. it my hair would be all over the place I, I I'm still a um, bit hyperactive so as a child I was just out there <laughs> and you know when these pictures come up the whole family the, the, the one of Nancy would always be wait 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 for it it's coming it's coming <laughs> and you realize that you know with my parents I, I used to be angry at them but they don't know what they're doing. You know, it's not that they wanted to hurt me, but right. what it did to my self-esteem, you know. Uh, I was I was the child, I always decided I was ugly and my mother dressed me funny, but I was that child and I wore braces and I had scoliosis, you know. I you look different than what the other people look like, and then you think there's something wrong with you. Mm. And how that manifests and how you make it through. Um, and how when I actually work through it, I realize that it's so wasted, you know, when, when yeah. I just look forty and look back at my life, I thought, oh, what a waste, what a waste, it could wow. have been so different. And I don't want other women to have that same feeling and to have that look back and say, what a waste. Oh my goodness. And I think, let me just say right here and now for what you are doing to see women, to recognize women and to empower women, I think you're absolutely beautiful. And so I know one of the things that I, I, when you talk about transformational life coaching, that, that's, that has to be very broad. But one of the things that captured me about and, one, and, and, and made me want to bring you to this platform is the attention that you were bringing to menopause oh. and what effects that has on women. I want you to talk a little bit about that. I want you to talk about the effects because we think we really know the effects that uh, menopause has on women, but you brought such a different perspective to it. I want you to talk a little bit about that for us today. Good. Um 
Well, I never knew anything about menopause until um, I became menopausal. Right. <laughs> uh, and I did not even know I became menopausal. So the only thing I can say, I can speak from experience, my own experience. And what I've learned from doing some research, so please understand, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a specialist. Um, everything I say about menopause is what I have read, what I experienced, and it's basically my perception. What you guys can do is, and, and this lady, I, I somehow got her, you know, I always say Facebook decides what you need to see, okay? And yes. <laughs> Facebook was so in tune with me, they knew names you need to see something about menopause. So, and this is how I found this lady, Davina McCall. She's it's also on my Facebook page, page at Nancy Transformation. Code. What's that name again? Davina? Davina McCall. Paul, um, I just want to make sure, I don't want to lie, yeah, Davina, D-A-V-I-N-A, McCall, if you would just search on Facebook, you will get a lot of information, and the way that she gives it is so straightforward, but it also resonated with me, and, and for me, the biggest thing about menopause, because I had a whole different perception, and, and, and I say, yeah, menopause is silent. It does not arrive with an announcement. Mm. It does not arrive with this big hot flush and say, ta-da, you are in menopause. It is a lot of small things that seem unimportant and unrelated. Mm. But, you know, and, and how it started, I actually went to my doctor, which it, it's a male. And I discussed weight gain with him. And, and again, saying, I'm really hyperactive. And my whole life, I've, I've never get, gained weight. You know, I'm, I'm busy, I'm active. And, and suddenly I said, it's just from breathing, I'm gaining weight. I was constantly tired. I was low mood. Again, being a bit hyperactive, you, I don't have low moods. And when I discussed it with me, my, the doctor really, he just looked at me. And you know what he did? He prescribed the antidepressant. Oh my. He prescribed, that's what he did. There was just no interest. Um, I threw the script away. I, I was mad as hell. Um, and you know, you, you, you start reading this, what's wrong with me? Um, I, I honestly thought I'm, I'm, I'm getting early Alzheimer's or something. Oh my. I would forget stuff. I, I, I would sit with the client and and and, and you need it. I can show you. There's your name. <laughs> on a, on a poster, and well, I lady, really, she, she's holding up the, uh, my name so she doesn't forget it. <laughs> I love it. There you go. I pray I would sit with the client and I would look up and I wouldn't know their name. Yeah. I really thought I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Okay. And and I would do stuff like this. And and the thing that I did is I just started talking openly about it. I would tell my client, I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know, I just forget these things. So I'm going to write you down, your name down on a post-it. And now I'm talking mm -hmm. about a client I've had for a year. Um, I, you know, you will get a hot flush. I would just take off what needs to be taken off. And then I will put it back on when you need to put it back on. Yeah. And talk about it as normally and openly as possible and I found that that really made life for me easier I didn't turn it into a thing because it seems like it becomes a thing it's not yeah. a thing. that's so interesting though because I, I think many of us can relate to that you know we're you know we're rushing we're hurrying about we're tr our bodies speaking of transformations our bodies are transforming mm -hmm. as we evolve as women physically. And mm -hmm. I know I've experienced that as well. Like, oh my God, I, I, this, this word is escaping me. You know, I'm at the tip of my tongue. I know this person from where, wherever I knew them from and their name is not coming, you know, hit. And, I, and I've experienced that same thing and never really thought about it like that. And we think, oh my God, what's wrong with us? I know so many people, uh, so many women can relate to that. What are some other uh, symptoms of menopause that, People may not even be aware that that's a symptom of what menopause, just like what you're saying now about being forgetful sometimes. So if I go 
I list them for you. I, I, I could have a list. Brain fog, and it's really, I, 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 I describe it as it's like you don't know what you're doing. You know, it's like I could always do this, and suddenly I don't know what I'm doing. I, uh, why am I battling to do this thing that I've done? Yeah. yeah. Forever. Forgetfulness. Unfocused. Steady weight gain. Tiredness. Mm. But then also insomnia. Irritable. Yeah. So you're tired, but you can't sleep. Irritable. Anxiety. Mm. Night sweats. Or just a feeling of being hot the whole time. So it's not always even this hot flash or a night sweat. It's just. I say your body temperature just rise like two degrees um, and you permanently warm it. <laughs> mm. You just warm. And you will see other people will be wearing jerseys and you will look at them and think, no, man, it's not that cold. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Exactly. Yeah, you just exactly. warm. Exactly. Dry eyes, dry mouth, mm. being thirsty more often. Lower sex drive. And then low confidence, low mm. self-esteem. If, if you look at these symptoms, it is it forms a vicious cycle because the one thing feeds into the other thing, feeds into the other thing. And then you create this terrible vicious cycle. So you take this and you go to your doctor and you speak to the doctor. And what's the thing that the doctor does? Gives you antidepressants. Oh no, this woman, no, you know, there's something wrong with her. Yeah. Boom, there's you, there's your antidepressant. Wow. That is so amazing. That's so interesting. So for based on all of your research for women who find themselves experiencing some of these things through life's changes and don't really understand why, what is your message to them? Okay, my message will be again. I'm not a doctor. This is Nancy's own experience. Okay. Let me see. I have to look at everything here because I tell you nonsense. <laughs> 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 um, just, just on that, um, and, and just going back to Davina's, Davina McCall's, her information, and, and to really say the impact it had on me. For me, it was such a relief to actually find information, to actually get information put down in real simple terms. So the what I can say, what, what is it that you can do is, number one, educate yourself. And you don't have to go read books. There's videos to watch. There's simple things to watch. Read. Educate yourself. Okay? Even if you are younger, the onset of menopause can start as early as 42. People think, or women think, we wait until 50. No, it's not true. Um, this lady in the one video said, and I, it was so beautiful, she said, menopause doesn't start in your ovaries. It starts in your brain, your wow. brain. They have done tests to see your brain waves and, and the neural paths that you have, how it actually changed. It starts wow. in your brain, not in your ovaries. Mm, Educate yourself, okay? Find a good doctor. Find a doctor that's actually interested. Discuss and read about your options. Don't just drink the first pull that comes around. Wow. Voice how you feel to your partner and your family. And, and, and why I say your partner and family, I think your very closest group I find with women, um, and, and this is just out of coaching, at a certain age, it's it's, I want to say this weird thing, people say, oh, I have problems in my relationship, okay, but now this woman has, has changed, suddenly overnight, you, you become a, a, a different being, um, and that has an impact on your partner, it's got an impact on your relationship, but if you just voice, and, and say, I don't know what's going on with me, you know, um, in my house, it's the most natural thing that I will speak, and then I will say, I want to say a word, but I don't know what it is right now. 
Um, and then my partner will say, oh, no, what well, you're looking for that word, yeah, and then we continue, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but speak to your family, speak to the people that's very close to your voice, and in simple terms. And then I say, mm, get a life coach. <laughs> you do not want to go into this period of your life with those old nooses around your neck because believe me you're gonna make new ones okay i say menopause can be a bad thing or menopause can be a good thing i choose the good thing i say oh. use the space of your life as mother nature's announcement that it is time to invest in yourself Oh my God, that is transformational. What a message. What a message. I love that we are having this open and honest dialogue about menopause because it used to be such a taboo to talk about. And it is such a common experience for women on their journeys. I love that we're doing this. So thank you. It's a part of our Woman Evolves. And Nancy, earlier we learned your Woman Evolves is I'm good enough. Is there anything else that you would add to that? You know what? The question, am I good enough to understand? And, and this is just life. You, you, will, you will transform and, and things will happen. And tomorrow or the day after, you will get the question again, am I good enough? Let me use myself as an example. Um, last time we spoke very briefly, said how, how the whole world changed um, and, and how we suddenly communicate differently and, and how people are more comfortable in doing coaching where previously, if it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coaching, I mean, there was no coaching. Mm -hmm. So for me to say, oh, I, I have to transform my business. Mm -hmm. Technology and stuff is so different now that that even today I, I sit and I have a whole strategy and, and then you have to do things and it's new things. It's things I know nothing about. Yeah. Okay? And, and suddenly you can feel, you know, all, all those old things I always say, I turn into this five-year-old girl again, you know, before it comes, we just go back there and it's I'm not sure, I'm not certain, I'm not confident, yeah. I don't know, you know, and it's easy to fall in that, and, and I always tell myself, it's, it's not, it's not then, this is now, you just don't know what you're doing right here on this Facebook ad, try and press the right button, or even let's go to menopause, and you feel irritable, and you have a fat day, and it's like, Nancy, you're not really fat, you, you did not pick up 10 kgs overnight, this is just your hormones. It's not real. Mm. But you have to move through it, but be really real with yourself and, and, and speak to yourself. I want to say in real terms. I love that. That's, that's what, you know, authenticity is about. And I'm <laughs> glad that you're being so authentic because there are so many of us that have these experiences, but we keep them to ourselves because we think that we are alone. That's why I love like ladies, let's share our stories. Do you think that it's important for us to share our stories? Uh, I will answer this question with a question. <laughs> and then I will answer it with the answer. Okay? <laughs> okay. Good. So my question is, you know what, this, this is typically, I, I always, this is the stage where I will buy my customers, you know, if I have a client. And, and, and I get these questions and, and then I will get, give them another question and, and then I will laugh and say, hey, you pay me good money for this. <laughs> so you should not pay me good money for this, but I will still give you the question. So the question that I have is and, and to think about it. And, and I've spoken about my story and, and we all have our stories. And is it necessary to tell our story and why or why not? So my question number, first of all, the question is, do you know your real story or is it just the most often debilitating story that you have been telling yourself and others your whole life do you have real insight in your life 
That is amazing. I love that question. And I would say for me, yes, absolutely. But it wasn't like you said earlier, like you just fell out of the sky this way. It's a journey. I love that because so many, I just love the impact of the question itself. Because so many times we talk about, you ask people, what's your passion? And they just say what they've been, they've been saying, you know, all their lives or they've been, what they've been told. And it's not really what gets them out of bed in the morning. And it takes going through your own personal journey, spending time with yourself to really learn and identify your own, who am I? So I love that question, Coach Nancy. I love that question. Yes. Now the answer? And the answer is yes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yes of course it is. and the answer is to tell your real story so you have to find that real story not the one that you've just been telling people and yourself you find your real story and then you tell that story in plain simple words mm. and what i mean with plain simple words not marketing words i call it these plastic words okay because it can mean anything you tell it in plain, simple words, because that is where the truth lies. Ooh. We need to hear our own truth. Ooh. My goodness. I hope, I hope you guys have been writing this down. I'm telling you, I'm over here listening and, and, and scribbling things down. I'm so proud that Nancy is a part of our private Empowered Women's Facebook group. We're going to have her do a session. She doesn't know it yet, but we're going to have her have her do a session in there. But that is so powerful to tell your, first of all, to know your real story mm-hmm. and to tell your story in plain words, because what oh. our stories are not for, just for ourselves. They're for somebody else. And so we really want people to understand that and find themselves or a piece of themselves in the story, tell it in plain words. That is so beautiful. And guess what? That's transformational. I see now why you are a transformational coach. I get it. I completely understand it. <laughs> Listen, uh, I got I to gotta say, uh, this has been one of the most fascinating discussions that we've had here with Coach Nancy. Uh, she's just a joy. I wish uh, for those of you who are just listening audibly, you can't see the joy emanating from her eyes. And as she tells her own story and gives us these nuggets, I really appreciate that. Once again, Nancy, where can we find you on social media? All right. You can find me at, and I'm only on Facebook. This is the, the platform that I've decided to use. Okay. okay. So you can find me at Nancy Transformation coach you can also send me an email to be brave dot transform at gmail.com okay so I mean, may- you- oh i love that wait a second i'm not gonna let that go by be brave <laughs> be brave dot transform dot transform at gmail.com that's amazing that is she's living her transformational coaching holistically. I love that. I love that. Listen, any final words for our listening audience around the world? Because we're global. Good. I have final words. Okay, I, I have so many words. <laughs> but my final words will be, it takes guts to say, my life is not where I want it to be. And then do something about it. It takes guts to say it and then to do something about it. So I'm saying, put on your big old panties, be brave, transform. I love it. And, and an echo from the dog. I love it. Ladies, I love it too. <laughs> you have heard it. We have been talking here on uh, the, the Her Woman Evolves series on AWE radio with Nancy Stoic Campbell, an amazing, amazing transformational life coach. Thank you so much, Nancy, for spending this time with us. We hope that you will come back again. We really do. I think you will have to hit me to, to, to let me stay away. I love, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you all for listening again. 
This is your girl, Kari, on AWE Radio, where we are unapologetically empowered and always on, as you can see, with information and inspiration for your transformation. Until next time, awesomes, we'll see you soon. Enjoy the journey. Bye.